I'm going to tell you how to win any argument you're ever in. This works great with narcissists. Just to start, you do not have to be the smartest person in the room to win any argument. I have a master's degree from Stanford, undergrad degree from Berkeley, I'm an author, I'm an Emmy Award winning journalist, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. You don't need to have the book smarts to win. You only need this one simple rule. Keep the argument in the room. Keep it in the present. People that are intellectuals or very smart will try to win arguments by bringing it into the hypothetical or they will talk about the past or a future that hasn't happened yet. Once you see this and you're able to keep the conversation present in the moment, you will be able to win any argument. For example, if you get into a fender bender and you don't tell your husband and he's mad, what will he say? He will say, well, it could have been so much worse. You could have been really injured and you didn't tell me. And remember that time two years ago that you got in that fender bender? He is hopping to the hypothetical and the past. So bring him back to the present. We're not talking about the fender bender I got in two years ago. And it wasn't worse. So let's talk about the facts at hand. And then he might say, well, you said this one phrase that my ex-girlfriend said, and it just made me so upset. We're not talking about your ex-girlfriend. We are talking about right now. They use this technique not only to confuse you, but to try to escape accountability. So you might say, I think that you're cheating on me because you didn't reply to my text for five hours and I couldn't get a hold of you. Listen to their response. They will take it into the hypothetical to try to get out of it if they're guilty. They will say, how could you not trust me after all that we've been through? Again, we're not talking about everything that we've been through. I'm talking about yesterday you did not text me back for five hours. Just because they're trying to steer the conversation in one way or the other doesn't mean that you have to oblige. The conversation is going to go whatever way you want it, as long as you are able to keep it in the present moment. Because at the end of the day, that is really all that matters. And don't get me wrong, of course there's a time and place to talk about the past and even talk about the hypothetical, but I'm talking about in a situation where you are in a fight. It is you versus them. This is a technique that they are going to use, and this is the way for you to not get caught up in their word salad by keeping it focused. 